Hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chinti. Yeah, for those of you that are just joining us, and if you are not just joining us for the second, if you're joining us for the second time or maybe the first time, and you haven't yet subscribed, can I know why? Like, what have I really done? Like, what have I really done to offend you? Because I just realized on my statistic that a lot of you, my returning viewers, are not subscribed yet. Somehow you're enjoying the video and you're not subscribing. Why? I know a lot of you genuinely forget, but please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification, so you'll have an immediate notification of when next I make another video public. But if it's not your first time, welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about books. Books! Books! Yeah, I know I stressed in my last video that you should cultivate reading habits, you should find a way to learn things about different cultures, just generally, just learn. Learn how to read, just cultivate the reading habit. So, and, and I got a lot of DMs on my Instagram and uh, my WhatsApp too, for people asking me about books that they can read. Most especially fiction, so I'm going to be doing this video to let you know just give you a few books and a few authors you should look out for when you want to go book shopping or you just feel like it's time for me to start investing in books. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. First book I'm going to be talking about is titled Miss J Diaries by a Nigerian. A Nigerian, I think she's a Yoruba person. It's called she's called Zainab Diary. That's the name of the author, and the book is titled Miss J Diaries. It's a short fiction. It's a collection of short fictions that do that touches every aspect of life. Like it touches every aspect. If you're just the first time reader and you just feel like okay, fine, I want to um you know start reading this book is definitely for you like definitely 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 for you it's quite interesting it's quite catchy and oh god you would thank me for recommending this book to you definitely you thank me for recommending this book you can actually find this book on amazon yeah it's on amazon or you can send her a direct message on instagram i'll drop the link to her instagram page in my description box so that you can ask her to just send a copy to your mail for it's not even that expensive it's not that expensive at all it's not expensive at all she can send it to you via your email or whatever or whatever means you want the soft copy being sent to you or you can purchase the hard copy yeah the hard copy but i feel like um you have to be around um what's that state again the hard copy can be found everywhere so i'll just drop like her link her instagram link so that you'll be able to communicate with her and ask her how you can go about getting a copy of yours believe me you're going to love it you're going to love it now another author i feel like you should look out for if you are a fan of christian romance let's start with christian romance and i think that's one of like that's like my most requested genre yeah genre. That's, that was like my most requested genre the um if you're looking out for christian romance you should first of all start with francine rivers yep i said what i said yep i said what i said you should first of all start with francine rivers and if you're starting with francine rivers keep an open mind because her books are her books are not complicated you have to i don't know how to put it her books are quite not complicated but you have to be um you have to pay attention to it while reading. She takes you on a real wind of different journeys of um she just touches all aspects of life when it comes to her books. And I recommend um you should start with Echoes of Mercy or you can read the Atonement Child. Yeah, those two books, one of those two books, you should start one of those two books, and then when you're starting one of those two books, you would thank me, you would ask me where else can you get her books. And yeah, you can get her books on paperback in any bookstore most of those any of those any of any big big store that you see any big bookstore that you see you'll be able to find at least one of her books or if you're finding it hard to get a hard copy you can find it on amazon yes you can find her books on amazon and i don't i don't think she has any audio books mm -mm. i'm not sure she has any audio book at all mm -mm. i'm not sure she has a search that i haven't found but if you know you are a fellow reader like me and you've come across any of her audio books please let me know where you found it but best to the best of my knowledge she does not have any audio book another person you should look out for when going in for christian romance you should go for kingsbury 
Karen Kingsbury. A lot of people who read Christian romance know Karen Kingsbury. Now, what I should tell you about her books that her books are mostly in trilogies or in five parts or in four parts or in six parts. Yes. So and quite all right one of these books can stand alone you don't have to start from the first one to the second one or to the third one you can pick from the middle and go back to the first and go back to the fifth you're not going to get confused you're not going to get confused at all and if you want to start reading her books i suggest you start with the bacta family series the five five book and i'm going to like um put the how it looks like on my screen now so you'll be able to see so it's serve as the guide for you when you're going shopping yeah so that's what i'm going to do and then another person you should kind of like look out for when going christian romance hunting christian romance books hunting or shopping you should look out for ted Deca. <laughs> this guy is amazing this guy's books are so amazing and he has lots of books for you to pick out from from adams to um the circle trilogy to um good the invincible man there are a lot of his books and his books are so in-depth it teaches about the unfailing love of christ like that no how he just did i don't know how he does it but <laughs> he's a pro at what he does so i'm um, looking for tedeka and i'm gonna go into like his books are quite hard to find on paperback the books are actually available on paperback but it's so hard for you to find that each time i see someone with one i want to just help me please whatever it is whatever book you want me to exchange you with please give it to me please i beg you in the name of god please yeah so kind of like look out for tedeka and his books are very hard to find on paperback so you're just going to um for someone like me i just resort to shopping on amazon for his books yeah that's what i do i resort to shopping on amazon for his books his books are very interesting not really um it, it don't complicate you it doesn't complicate your brain it doesn't stresses you his stories are always straight to the point but you get the drift you always you will get the drift when you're reading this man's books ah jesus another christian romance author you should look out for is janet oko i just um okay not oko okay she's a canadian writer i forget the name forget the name she's actually a canadian writer and she's white like her complexion is she's white so don't feel like i'm Jeanette okay that's her name i recently came across her through someone through a youtuber a very big youtuber but i came across her through dima and she talked about her once about her video i'm like ah dima and Jeanette okay i've never heard of this person let me try and <laughs> damn i'm impressed yeah that's what i'm going to tell you i'm impressed her books are mind-blowing her books are so 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 in-depth about it's just she does she never deviates from the point yeah just look out for her look out for her books her books can be found on amazon and nope she does not have audiobooks she doesn't have audiobooks king Barry have audiobook did i mention that please let me tell you king Barry does have audiobooks so you have a collection of audiobooks to pick from if you want to shop for Karen Kingsbury book but Janet Oko I'm not so sure she does I haven't looked up I'm not so sure she does I'm not so sure she does at all so I'm um, if you want to um a title of her book that I'm still reading I feel like you should start reading too is um is when the heart calls I'm currently reading that and I must say it's quite interesting I'm not going to give you any spoiler or I'm not going to just know that you should start with that I feel like you should start with that if you're going for Janet OK books and yeah that's on that's on Christian romance just look out for those people that I have mentioned those are not all low but just look out for those ones that you want to start reading Christian romance and won't you you know go through all those ones and you want more then we can do a graduation class <laughs> another video to enlighten you more about different authors so i'm moving on to the next if you want to shop for mystery books mystery i'm going to turn mystery and paranormal to get that if you want to if you want to indulge in mystery books you should try dan brown everybody knows dan brown is a pro when it comes to mystery his books from da vinci code angels and demon um turning points a lot of books i've actually read all of his books anyway all like all every single book that brown brought to this world through his writing i've read all so i'm just going to say that you should start when it comes to mystery you should 
you should you should you know you should roll with that brown roll with him you will not regret rolling with that brown another person you should roll with when it comes to mystery and paranormal is Nora Roberts I give it to her she's quite a queen when it comes to that she's quite a queen when it comes to that her books are so numerous but if you want to start start with the pagan stone a lot of people who stay reading Nora Roberts book will tell you that they all stay with the pagan stone if you did not start with the pagan stone you stay with the dark witch it's really 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 her books are and her books are so easy to find ah god so easy you don't have to shop on amazon you can actually shop on amazon quite but her books are so easy to find you just type i think i've given us this secret before when i when i made a video about apps and books you can find in those apps you just type reading Nora Robert books online and boom, all her books showcases and you just click on it and then you just click start reading and woo, your journey has started. So if you want to start with Nora Robert, I feel like you should start with the Pagan Stone or you should start with the Dark Witch or you can start with Key of Light. Mm, key of light key of light is actually a trilogy so be prepared to um don't just feel like it's going to end there that was the mistake i made when i was purchasing it i got just the key of light and then after reading i now realized that it was a trilogy and i was desperate i wanted to know what happened at the end so take my advice start with the pagan stone let's talk about some romance now if you're into romance i'm a very big fan of romance books no, I'm not talking about explicit books. I'm talking about online books. There's a difference between and that. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about romance books. And um, have you actually? Do you are you a romance book lover? If you have not read any of Daniel Steele books, huh? Really? And she writes a lot about war, war romance, and it's so interesting. It makes you want your reading. It makes you want to feel like, oh my god, why wasn't I born this time? Would I have done things differently? Jeez, I don't know. But um, when it comes to Daniel Steele, you would want to read Zoya. That's one of my favorite books of hers of all time. You'd want to read Zoya. You'd want to read The Kaleidoscope. Oh, you'd want to read The Three Sisters. One of those books just. You can shop for them on Amazon and her books are not so hard to find on paperback. You would see them in any bookstore that claims that they sell fiction. You would see one of a Daniel Steele book in that bookshop. Trust me. Another romance writer I feel like you should indulge is Catherine Coulter. I discovered Catherine Coulter way back 2015. No, I went back 2013. Yeah. 2013 and i have never looked back i never looked back i but my first book of her that i read was the rebel bride and i enjoyed it i loved it i still wish i can actually see that book on paperback to read again so her books are you can find those you can find her books on amazon and her paperback books so aren't really hard to find actually they're not really hard to find at all Another okay, you can actually um if you if you can't find the rebel bride, you can start with the Scottish bride. She has a lot of seals when it comes to bride side, and then they are there's the Engima. There's the Engima, yeah. And the Engima, yeah. So um you should roll with Catherine Cook. Oh, um another one I'd quickly tell you about is um John Grisham is actually um, a detective novel. You're into detective, you're into law books, you're a lawyer, and you want to read something that is related to your field. You should roll with John Grisham. I think he's one of like the only detective um, writer that I'm exposed to, and I actually love his books. So if you have um, like another one, another person that you enjoy their detective writing skills, please let me know. But as for me, this is the only person that I'm exposed to. So, and if you want to like read his book, there are a lot of books to choose from. You can read The Pelican Brief. You can read The Clients, A Time to Kill. A Time to Kill actually like kept me on my edge from the page one to the last page. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, um, yeah, when it comes to the text book, I have just one person in my head that I'm, I can actually share with you. But I'm actually, ex I'm actually experimenting with someone else. So, but if I feel like his books are good enough, I'm make another video and share it with you. So, I'm um, you should roll with John Grisham. His books are not hard to find. I'm not going to lie, his books are not hard to find. His paper book, his paperback books are almost everywhere, 
almost almost everywhere so i am um, or you can actually shop from amazon blessing the name of the lord for amazon yeah <laughs> business books i'm not really a fan of business books but i'm going to be sharing this because someone asked for it so um one person you should read the kind of books i feel like you should read when it comes to business books you should read about um where good innovation comes from and it's written by steven johnson the book is actually nice but i didn't finish it but it's nice if you're a business oriented person and you're into innovations and stuff steven johnson is good for you where good innovation comes from yeah that's the title of the book the other business book that i recommend is the technology trap and it's written by carl benedict those two books if you're a business oriented person you should read those books yeah you should definitely read those books this actually brings me to the end of the video i promise it was going to be really short so um this brings me to the end of the video i hope you enjoyed watching it and give this video a thumbs up let me know what you think about it and if you're a novel reader like me please share your most interesting authors with me and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't please subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in my next video thank you